Hey guys, Stephen Cox here, and today we're going to learn how to pick on the flat wound strings on the U bass. Now, this exercise works on any U bass, but it'll be a little bit harder on the rubber strings. If you like videos like these, please subscribe below and consider becoming a patron. So the reason we're doing this on the flat wound strings, even though we could do it on any U bass, is because it gets a classic vibe that's almost reminiscent of Paul McCartney's sound on his Hofner bass. So let's jump into it. The first thing we're going to do is learn the groove for the first section. Each of these three sections in the song have a groove that lasts for the first three measures, where there's just a slight variation on the end of each groove. After that, the last measure is a fill, with the exception of the third section, where the last two measures are a fill. So in the first measure, our groove sounds like this. And then it's followed by something different each time. That's going to be the third fret on the E string two times. Then we're going to play the first fret on the A string. And then on this first measure, we're going to do a little slide from the third fret to the fifth fret. So we pick the third fret and then slide to the fifth fret. So we've got So the second measure is very similar. It's going to sound like this. So you notice there's a little bit of a difference, even though it starts the same way. So we're still going to do the third fret on the E string twice, the first fret on the A string once. Then this time we're going to go back to the third fret on the E string. Then we're going to shift up to where we're playing the third fret on the D string with our pointer finger. And we're going to hammer on to the fifth fret of the D string. So let's play measure two. One, two, three, four. Measure three is exactly the same as measure one. So that's just. And then now we're on to measure four, where this is the fill measure. So it's going to be a little bit trickier than the others. So this is going to be the third fret on the E string two times. Then we're going to do the fifth fret on the D string. We're going to pull off to the third fret still on the D string. Then we're going to play the 5th fret of the A string. Then we're going to play the 3rd fret on the A string and slide down to the 1st fret on the A string. So this is what it's going to sound like. Two, three, four. So let's do measures 1 to 4 together. 1, 2, 3, 4. So one thing you'll notice about measures one through four is with the pick, I am only doing down strums. So the reason we're doing hammer-ons, the reason we're doing slides, is so we can do some notes that are a little bit faster, but without having to do any upstrokes with the pick. So all of those were down strokes, which means we're starting above the string and moving through the string downward. Now this next section, we're gonna incorporate some upstrokes. So we're gonna do some alternate picking, or it's gonna be down, up, down, up. It's gonna happen a lot. And not only are we going to do the alternate picking, which is the down, up, down, up, we're also going to palm mute, which means we're going to take the back of our hand, and we're going to set it lightly over the strings right at the bridge. So you want to be just this side of the bridge, just the playing side of the bridge. And you want your hand to very lightly touch probably the E, the A, and the D string. And notice that I'm kind of like keeping my hand to where it's pretty much perpendicular to the strings so that I'm not getting this weird angle where I'm accidentally muting more as I go down. So close to the bridge with all of it and then as much as you can keeping it from bending in like that too much. So here's the second section. This is at measure five. So 
So the groove is gonna sound like this this time. And it's gonna be followed by different things at the very end of each measure. So we're gonna play the third fret four times, down, up, down, up with the pick. And this is the third fret on the E string. Then we're gonna go to the first fret on the A string. And we're gonna do the same thing, down, up, down, up. So four times, first fret on the A string. And then now I like to shift up. So we're gonna do the third fret on the A string two times and the fifth fret on the A string two times. So that's gonna sound like. So let's do that together. One, two, three, four. So now the next measure is almost exactly the same, except we're gonna change the last two notes of the measure. Instead of playing the fifth fret of the D string, we're no longer doing that. We're gonna replace them with the first fret on the E string. So then we don't need to shift up. We're just gonna stay back in this position. We're gonna do the whole measure now. We're gonna do the third fret on the E string four times. Down, up, down, up with the pick. Then we're gonna do the first fret on the A string four times again. Now we're gonna play the third fret on the A string two times. Then we're gonna go down to the first fret on the E string and play that two times. And we're just alternating the pick the whole time. So we're not really breaking the down, up, down, up cycle. So the third measure of this, which is measure seven, is the same as measure five, which is the first measure of this new groove. So that's just, again. And then we're at measure eight. This is gonna sound like this. This time, we're gonna play the threes on the E string with our pointer finger. Still gonna play four of them. Down, up, down, up. And then we're gonna go up to the fifth fret on the D string. We're gonna play a down pick. Then we're gonna pull off to the third fret on the D string still. Then after that, we're gonna play the fifth fret on the A string as an up pick. Then we're gonna play the third fret on the D string as a down pick. And then we're gonna go back to the fifth fret on the A string as an up pick. And then we're gonna play the third fret on the A string as a down pick. And then we're gonna slide to the first fret on the A string still. So we've got down, up, down, up, down, pull off, up, down, up, down, slide. That's what our right hand is doing versus what our left hand was doing. So let's play measures five through eight together. And remember, we're gonna be palm muting through this entire section. One, two, three, four. And now we're on to the third section. We will not be palm muting, so you wanna make sure to have your hand raised, not touching the string, so you can see like, Maybe I'll like touch the G string because I'm not playing that one, but um, I might anchor with my pinky. You don't have to. You could like let your hand completely float if you wanted to, but notice that the palm is not touching the strings anymore. So here's what the first half of the third section sounds like. Right, so this has a lot more notes because we're filling in all the spaces that we had before with more down up picking. We're still not breaking that cycle of down up and this time we're really not for the entire section that I just played. So this is measure nine and we're gonna play the third fret on the E string six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or if you think about the right hand, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, then we're gonna play the first fret on the A string six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Same thing where we're just doing down, up, alternating. And then after that, we're gonna shift up and we're gonna play the third fret on the A string two times and the fifth fret on the A string two times. And once again, that's down, up, down, up. So that's our groove. So let's play that one together just to get the hang of it. One, two, three, four. All right, so now we're on to measure 10. It's almost the exact same thing. We're just taking those last two notes, which were the fives on the D string. Now they're gonna become the first fret on the E string. So we've got the third fret on the E string six times, the first fret on the A string six times, 
the third fret on the A string two times. Now we're going to play the first fret on the E string two times. That way we just get to stay in that one position. So this is a lot like the second melody, just with a slight variation to it where we're playing more notes. Then measure 11 is exactly the same as measure 9. And then we get to measure 12, which is going to sound like this. So that's going to be the fifth fret on the D string two times, the third fret on the D string two times. Then we got the fifth fret on the A string two times, fourth fret on the A string two times, third fret on the A string two times, first fret on the A string two times, third fret on the A string two times, then the fourth fret and the fifth fret, just one time a piece. Down, up, 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 down, up but we are going to play two different notes on the last two 16th notes of that measure. Let's do measure 12 together, and then we're going to do that whole section. 3 E and 4 E and. All right, and then here is measure 9 through 12. 3 E and 4 E and. Now we're at 13 through the end, and basically measures 13 and 14 are the exact same as 9 and 10, and then it changes from there. So I'm not going to go over measures 13 and 14 right now. We're going to do measures 15, 16, and then the last note, which is measure 17. So that's going to sound like this. All right, so this is a little tricky because we're going to keep our alternate picking, but we're going to only do three notes per string. So you're going to end up changing strings sometimes on an up pick. And it's a little strange, so you want to take this part slow. We're going to play the third fret on the E string three times, down, up, down. Then we're going to play the first fret on the A string, up, down, up, which is three of those. Then we're going to play the third fret on the A string three times down, up, down. Then we're going to play the fifth fret on the A string three times, up, down, up. And now we're back to patterns of two, so it gets a little bit easier here. We're going to play the third fret on the D string two times, down, up. And then we're going to play the fifth fret two times, down, up. So that's measure 15. Down, up, 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 down, up. And then we've got this crazy fill at measure 16, and that sounds like this. And measure 16, we're going to keep that alternate picking, but we're only going to play one note at a time, which means there are no doubled frets in this whole entire fill. So that's the 8th fret on the D string, then the 7th fret, still on the D string, the 5th fret, then the 3rd fret, then back to the 5th fret, then back to the 3rd fret. That was all on the D string again. Now we're going to the A string. We're going to play the 5th fret, the 4th fret, the 3rd fret, the 4th fret, and the 5th fret. So that was all on the A string. Now we're on the D string. That's going to be the 3rd fret on the D string. Then we're back to the A string for most of the rest of this. 5th fret, 4th fret, 3rd fret, first fret, and then we're going to end it with the third fret on the E string. So let's do this one slowly together because this is definitely the trickiest measure in the piece. Three and four E and. And we're going to do it one time a little bit faster. 3 E and a 4 E and. All right, guys, that's it for today's lesson. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to pick on the flat wound strings and learning this cool exercise. 
If you'd like more, please subscribe below. And if you'd like to request an arrangement, you can become a patron. There's more details on patreon.com slash And I will see you guys on the next one. Take care.